If you need to make titles for your videos, but you don't know the first thing about design, it's gonna be a good video. See, I teach people how to make videos in DaVinci Resolve, and one of the funnest parts of making videos is motion graphics. But I see a lot of really bad motion graphics. And rather than take you through an entire design course, although maybe maybe that'd be fun, I'm gonna give you a simple way to remember how to make your motion graphics look great even if you know nothing about design. So I'm working on this gaming video. We released a tutorial on that the other day. And let's say we want to make a little intro logo kind of thing. Here's something I see a lot of people do. They go up to effects, grab a title, drag it down, move stuff over, let's put this title here, and then they switch this text. They'll call this some game, and guess what? Now it's a title. But this is really boring, it's really boring. And so you might be thinking to yourself, well, I wanna make it fancy. So the first thing you'll go to is changing the font. Let's find something fancy. This one's fancy. Also make that font bigger, it's more exciting. And now we have our graphic. And you look at it and you go, gosh, I still think that we should add something to this. So, hey, let's mix up the colors. So you switch to color, you go, okay, bright green. That works, that really catches your eye. But when we play this back, there's no movement. It's not, not exciting. So maybe we'll switch over to settings, go down to dynamic zoom and turn that on. Now we got something going on. And now we have a motion graphic where we have some movement. It's exciting. And this is so terrible. <laughs> it's so bad. And I'm so sorry if you looked at it and you go, wow, that's really cool. I don't want to crush your dreams, but I'm going to. <laughs> This kind of graphic does not look professional. Now, when I say professional, I mean something that someone would pay for happily. And it's really easy to kind of get down this road because you just kind of keep adding fancy things to your titles and eventually it becomes this thing that you think is cool because it's better than it was, but it does not look like you understand what you're doing. And maybe that's true and that's fair, but I am on a mission one day I hope that no one who uses DaVinci Resolve will make titles that look like this. So let's look at an easy way to avoid this without having to go to design school. And we're gonna start with what the heck is wrong with this? What is so bad? Do me a favor and type in the comments what you think is so bad about this title, because I'm interested to see what you'll think. Pause the video, type it out right now. Here's my thoughts. Probably the biggest, most egregious design problem here is that there is no space on the edges. That's probably the biggest, biggest deal. This design is not super, but it makes it really bad when there's no space around it. The other thing is it's kind of curly. It's a little bit kind of fancy and a little bit harder to read than say something that has straight letters. And it's not that you always need to use straight letters, but using straight letters is typically a lot safer when it comes to design. You really kind of have to know what you're doing to use curly letters. Straight letters are much easier to make look good. The other thing is this font is really thin. So all of these little things are really thin. It doesn't have a lot of weight. And so because there's so much of this empty space, so much of that, and so much space in between all of these things, your eye just doesn't really get drawn to it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't have that magnetism that a title should have. A title should say, look at me. And this does say, look at me, but there's so much more black in between these that the black kind of steals the show. The other thing, let's play this title. It's on the screen for a really long time. <laughs> Which is fine if there are lots and lots of words or you really want to punch the impact of this title. Most of the time, you don't need it on screen for more than a couple seconds. And the less words in your title, the less long it needs to be on screen. Think about how long it takes somebody to read this. Okay, let's go back to the beginning. All right, once I can actually see the edges here, I'll just wait till I can see the edges. There we go. Some game, some game, some game, so may game, some game. <laughs> like, okay, I get it. It doesn't need to be on that long. Your animation can be a lot faster. The timing and the animation of your title can be a lot faster than you think. One thing this title does get right is it keeps the colors really, really simple. This isn't a rainbow title. There aren't 15 different colors here. It's just green on black. And even though I don't know if I would necessarily go with green on black, that part is, is fine. The other really big thing here is this title and especially the font, it gives you some kind of feeling, some kind of tone. 
And the question is, does the tone actually match what you're going for? Does it make the person who's looking at this graphic feel the way you want them to feel? And this, because it's green and because it's curly, sort of feels like nature. Like if you were going to just guess what this game is about, uh, yeah, is it like gardening or <sighs> picking flowers near a cottage or something like that? It's just kind of curly and green which does not match the tone of this game, which is a survival game with lots and lots of blues <laughs> and lots of water and scary things, right? It also doesn't really match the tone of the person playing the game, all right? I'm not a gardeny, natural person. And so that kind of thing just conflicts with this graphic. So enough beating up on stuff. How do we make a graphic that's actually good? I made a little acronym so it's easy to remember. SWIFT. S-W-I-F-T, SWIFT, <sighs> not that one. So what the heck does SWIFT stand for? S stands for small text. Let's make this a little better, shall we? I'm gonna take this dynamic zoom off for a minute. Remember I was talking about the space around here. Your text does not need to be this big on the screen and especially doesn't need to be this close to the edges. What happens when it's so close to the edges is it kind of feels like it's gonna fall off of the screen and it gives you this weird sort of uneasy feeling that you usually don't want with your titles. And so a great way to avoid this is make your text really small. Okay, take this size and just push it down. Now, is this small enough? Is this small enough? In my experience, you can make text insanely small. Don't believe me? I'm gonna make it this small, which is laughably, laughably small. All right, there's no way you're gonna accidentally make it this small. I'm gonna reset that position for the middle. And guess what? Full screen, you can still read it. You're never gonna make it that small, but even when it's that size, you can still read it. You might even be able to read it on a phone. For me, my phone's about this big on screen. And yeah, I can still read that. It's hard to read, but I can read it. And so you're really not in danger of making your text too small. This is obviously way too small and you're never gonna make it that small, okay? So let's push up that size. And I would see a lot of people make text this small. This isn't terrible. I wouldn't be super mad about this, but you can make it probably something like that. And that's gonna look a lot better just because you have enough space on each side to kind of emphasize that this thing is in the middle and it's important, right? Now, do you always need to make your text small? No, not necessarily. There are times where you might want to make your text really big and kind of bleeding off the edges, but that's a very specific design choice. And if you don't know anything about design, keep your text small. Next is W. That stands for a weighty font. A font that has some weight to it, a bold font. Like I was saying, this font is just a little bit too wispy and curly and small to feel important. So let's switch to a different font here. And you'll notice a lot of these more regular fonts, even though they look more boring, are a lot easier to read and actually feel a little bit more important. One font that I really like is Poppins. Again, this is just a font that's easy to make look good. Other thing I like to do is do this in all caps. Again, not every title has to be in all caps, but it's easier to make it look good if it's in all caps. Why is that? Because the space between this letter here and this letter here is the same. Whereas if it was title case like this, this is a little bit bigger than this, and you'll need to know a little bit more about design in order to kind of balance things out. If you make it all uppercase, it's easier to keep it balanced. So we have small text, we have it towards the middle of the frame, like this. We have it all the same size, and we have a nice thick font. This looks like it's more important. I is for intentional tone. Every choice that you make with your design sends a certain message, and you pretty much have two options. You either send a message that is not very strong, or you send a strong message that matches the tone that you want. The great thing about these straight letters that are a little bit bold is the message they send, it just is not very strong. It could just about be on any kind of video and still work. That's why it's safe. One thing we should consider here is the color because this green, again, it kind, there's kind of this color language. If you're not really sure what tone the color you pick is sending, just type the color into Google and then say color language. So green color language, nature and growth, calmness and hope, money and wealth, luck, holy color, envy. These are the kind of messages that your colors send. Now, it is dependent on your culture. Some countries view green differently than other countries. So you wanna consider that based on the audience that's going to see your video. 
But something that's pretty safe is to pick either a color that isn't very strong or is white or gray. So, you know, maybe kind of this bluish white. That's cool. And now the message that we're sending, it isn't terribly strong. This could say just about anything and it would make sense, but it's much better to not say a whole lot than to say the totally wrong thing. F is for fast animation. Like I said, a lot of the time I see titles that are, you know, 10, 20 seconds long and they just don't need to be that long. The other thing I'll see is people want to animate their position, right? So we'll have this at eight seconds in the middle and then we'll kind of bring this down. And so now this will animate on very, very slowly. <laughs> And it feels fancy, but it's really just annoying. So guess what? If you want to add this kind of animation, you can add that fancy animation and just make it just make it faster within half a second, something like this. This is 60 frames a second. We're going to be right here. And then at the beginning of our video, we're going to have it right there. So this comes up, boom, like that. Excellent. Guess what? It's fun. And if you want to know how long your title should be, do this. Some game, some game. There we go. So this is three seconds and 34 frames, all right? Delete, there we go. Some game, some game. Boom, now it's going, right? Read it twice, the, the second time, just read it really slow. That will be plenty of time. And now we have this title coming in that's cool. It feels intentional. It says what it is and it doesn't take too long to do it. My last tip is keep things to two colors. So this is black and white, which is kind of like two colors. But if you're going to add like actual colors to your text, don't add 50 colors. Don't even add three. Just add two. If you want to make it fancy, let's just hold alt and drag this up like this. And I'm going to set my anchor point here on the left for this one and the right for this one. And we'll just say some here and game on this one. Sure. We'll put a space there. And now we have this separate. So we have game. Let's make the game kind of this bluish teal maybe and some maybe we'll keep white. Now, again, depending on the feeling that you want to get across, you might pick a certain color. But here, this looks at least intentional. It looks like a professional did it. Even if it's not exactly your style, even if it's not your favorite thing, this does look more professional than this. <laughs> so if you're not a designer and you don't know what you're doing, do yourself a favor and just follow this. S-W-I-F-T, small text, weighted font, intentional tone, fast animation, and two colors. And then as you get more experience and you learn a little bit more about design, then you can kind of start to venture off into different designs and different ideas. But if you want respectable titles, keep them swift. I hope this was really helpful for you. If you want to learn a lot more about motion graphics, we actually have a full on course for that Oops. right there. You can check it out. OK, thanks for hanging out. Time to make your titles swift, swift titles. <laughs> Time to get, get swift.